Hey guys, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to some EU4. We are Byzantium and we are currently just destroying these guys. It's not even a competition. England is on medium enthusiasm. And as soon as England pieces out, that gets rid of him and Ulster. Um, and Brittany, possibly. Yeah, and Brittany. So, uh, yeah. These guys are not looking too good. They have no manpower. Meanwhile, I have 50-some thousand manpower. So... At this point, is uh, I really think that it's fine to just start taking fights that I know that I'm going to win, even if it's not necessarily super advantageous to uh, for us. And uh, we need to make our way up and just get them sieged down. Just just beat up on them. Just finish them off, right? That's what we need to do here. Let's. Uh, we want to take all these fights with these smaller stacks that we can. Wipe out all the one stacks because it's going to hurt... Um, Provence's interest in being in the war because his war exhaustion is going to go up for every time he gets sieged down a little bit. Let's just blockade these guys. I don't think England's going to be landing any more men. So let's get on to Treviso. And um, let's barrage the province here. I don't think he's going to attack me. If he does, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to do it. Let's continue to convert these provinces over here. So we need these two provinces. So let's actually... Let's do these two specifically so we can add it to the trade company. There we go. And we should be making progress on them. 3.5, 3.6. Very good. And uh, as soon as we win this, we'll get onto his capital and we'll be able to piece him out. So, this is what... Um, we, we'd been talking about this in the comments as well. This is actually important for us if we plan to use um, this um, demand additional tribute button. So, if their heir is a 152, it means if I were to exploit him, I would get less mana from him. Uh, so, it'll piss him off if I say no. But them having a good heir is really important for me. A 152, I think, is not that good. So, I'm going to decline it. And uh, I'm also going to, while I'm thinking about this, we're going to do this. And look how much mana we're going to get. 60, 48, and 36. And we can actually do it a couple of times as well. Next month, I can do it again. And so that's something that we definitely need to be taking advantage of because there's a lot of mana to be gained from that. Hey, nice. St. Michael gives us manpower and Patriarch Authority. Hell yeah, man. Patriarch Authority is going up. With these modifiers we have to our Patriarch Authority between uh, religious and um, uh, our estate privileges, we're looking real good for that. So, just need to win some sieges here. Introducing potatoes to Europe. Very cool. Yeah, these little carpet sieges always irritate me. Thanks, DDR Jake. Sabotaging our game. England over here landing another 16,000 men. Let's uh, pull these guys over here for now. Let's see if I can catch his ships. I like innovativeness, so I'll take it. Looks like England uh, pulled out. They were not feeling it. Yeah. I'm going to get back over and blockade this fleet here. Nice. So they've lost 46 ships. I have lost four. It's not bad. And none of them are heavies. Though we will need to eventually get our... Um... Nice. Let's take this. Let's get our <laughs> institution spread in True Faith Provinces. So, we're going to need to start considering, do we want to dev up for colonialism? Um, we are ahead on Mill and Diplo. I definitely have provinces over here that would be good for devving. And our burgers are currently quite loyal. They're feeling pretty good about it. Uh-huh. So, let's do this, which will actually get them over 60. And then... Let's see here. This is hills, so we're not going to be doing it there. Um, Carisi Trade Company... At least five. That's actually totally fine with me because once we finish these, we're going to add these guys to the trade company anyway. So that's uh, that's totally fine with me. Actually, I don't know why I called it Carisi, though. It's kind of dumb. I bet if I hover over here, it's going to say Greek Anatolia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's see here. It's Devin and Adern. It's already at 16, but uh, a lot of people don't know this. Actually... Um, I think they showed that the most efficient way of deving is actually starting with something in like the mid-teens, mid-low teens. So we're going to dev this. 
Uh, and we're also going to switch over to the icon of, which one is this? Christ, uh, <laughs> Pantocrator? Pantocrator? I don't know how to speak. Greek is a hard language. People always correct me when I try to say Greek words. I'm never going to get it right. But uh, yeah, 41 dev is not bad. And I think we just go back and forth, back and forth. And we're going to get pretty dang close, actually. Well over halfway. And uh, we'll be able to dev it pretty quickly here. So Treviso is mine now. So do they have high, better maneuver? They do not have better maneuver than me. So we will not take a minus, th minus two. Uh, just kidding. Apparently we do anyways. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go in here. They're going to say, Haha, I'm going to flee. And I say, nay. Just kidding. You get stack wiped, idiots. Cool. So also I need to occupy this province. Mm, eh, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, and then I also want war reps and all of their money. So we're going to take this piece. I don't care about it. I need to make sure we are able to do this. I'm not going to barrage the walls because we're going to win this siege in a timely manner anyways. Go with the uh, this guy there. I don't really care about losing a little bit of money because we're going to end up taking it all back anyways. Piecing out England is definitely going to be good for us. We're not going to be able to get the, the piece we're looking for unless we piece out England. But it looks like he's going to be willing to peace out here in about three or four months anyway. So, no big deal. As long as my allies don't peace out, which they're all in high enthusiasm still. So, I think we're doing just fine. And our high spy network over here is giving us another 20% siege ability. All right. Our uh, our king is dead. Long, li long live the emperor. Uh, Andreos uh, Adrianos II von Habsburg. I think uh, we're going to demand additional tribute over here because... You know, I'm, I'm really upset about it. So let's increase this and then, um, very good. And then I think we can actually get another one. We just need to increase relations with him. So let's, let's recall the Venetian spy for now. We don't really need him. And, uh, here we go. I also need to boost my stab up. So oh, 69, nice. Actually nice though. <laughs> so these guys are over here on Cyprus. And then these guys are over here making very quick progress on that siege, which is annoying. Give me Venice, bro. Give Venice, please. Let's put these guys on defensiveness. Hopefully we can win this 50%er and then get down there. Just kidding. We won't. He's on a 7%er. 14% now. You know what that means. He's on a 50%er. All right. Yeah, we lost a 64%er. 14. What about a 7 no, 28%. I'm on 64. Come on, baby. Give. Oh my gosh. 28. 21. This base race is annoying. Oh, yeah, they won the 21 percenter. That doesn't surprise me. 64 for the third time. And now it went down and I didn't get it. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm getting a little tilted. This doesn't seem quite right. Urbino wants out. Yep, give me your war reps, idiot. England is going to want out next month. Please give me the 71%er, hopefully before he wins that. There we go. I guess if England... England will lose Defender of the Faith if we do this. So this is actually... Oh, he took Cyprus back. Er, all right. Let's get over here. We're going to have to siege back a couple of things. And of course they looted my province. So this is fine. I'll just wait till next month and I'm going to pe white piece out England. There we go. That's fine. And now we can just absolutely demolish these guys. Because I'm going to have to occupy this province in order to give it to uh, Sype. You know, if I want to give it to him. Oh yeah, I get call for peace. Seems legit. Let's also take Kosovo back. Get these guys out of here with uh, Adrianos. Lead us to victory, my friend. Oh, no, no, no. I definitely don't want him on a siege. Not over there. Take our gold mine back. Our allies are definitely going to peace out soon. Just kidding. They're on high enthusiasm, which I like. I'm happy about that. Get these guys over here. Yeah, let's kill this eight stack. Oh, a six stack reinforcing, apparently. A 303 air. I do not feel good about that. Uh, I'm going to wait until this war is over to enforce any pieces or enforce any um, changes to that. Okay, this is annoying as hell. Get over here, you guys down here. Uh, let's actually have you guys, no, not the him. 
There we go. We have two two siege pip generals. And let's have you guys come over down here. Patriarch Authority or money for Patriarch Authority. I don't care. I'll take out a loan for Patriarch Authority. So he's going to lose this fort. Well, Lockie is probably going to peace out soon. This garrison should be pretty low. Just kidding. It's almost full. Let's just uh, see if I can take this ASAP. Let's get over here. Get a... Oh, wait. Looks like I don't actually need... Yeah, we'll lock you pieced out. What did they do? They annulled alliances with me. Hilarious. Hilarious. That's fine, because now I'm just going to attack him and uh, annex all of his land that I have permanent claims on. No big deal. No harm, no foul. Uh, yep, call for peace. So we're just going to speed five it through the call for peace until I can uh, do this. Provence wants a white piece. It's fine with me. There we go. We've won Corfu. Let's give it to Albania. This is the piece we're going to take. Uh, this gives us war reps, all of his money, these th four, pro these five provinces, and hardly any aggressive expansion. And there we go. How about it? And he's going to kill my rebels for me anyways. What a legend, dude. Absolute legend. Crete is ridiculously expensive. Come again. Oh, I guess it's 13 dev. Okay. Apparently there's some dev over there in Crete. Not bad. Now, these guys are should be feeling pretty good because I gave them some land here. Uh, I thought that I was going to... All right, Royal marry him, and we need to improve relations with him. The Italian wars are over, apparently. Do something like that. Suppress some rebels that we're inevitably going to have. Mission fulfilled, which gives us some permanent claims on some other stuff over here. Which we'll eventually take. Recover Albania, which gives us permanent claims up here in Herzegovina. Not bad. Convert that. So now these provinces are all converted over here. So we can unstate you. And then add each of you guys to the trade company, especially Sugla. So what's our debt looking like? I could repay all of our loans, but I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to upgrade those and then repay one loan. Repay that one. And now... We're going to be making extra money as well. Nice. Very good. Uh-huh. So let's take all of our navies, get them together here. Naval supremacy definitely came in clutch for us. And let's get our admiral in charge of you. And uh, there we go. So now we should be making well over 10 decades a month. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Mm, I love it. Yeah, I don't care about these guys either. I'm not going to upgrade them. But uh, let's take a look here. Let's turn these guys off here. No edict. Save some money. This one we still need because we need to do these clicks here. We're almost done with them, so. One more click. Let's make it a... Actually, don't know. Maybe a dip diplo click. Uh, I'm not going to Royal Mary here to so Govina because I don't think we're going to stay friends with him forever. Um... Let's see here. You give me some mill mana, please. Oh, come on now. Albania. Why you do this? I also need to improve relations with him. These guys are outraged. I want to do this again. Demand additional tribute. Um, yep, same guy. Demand additional tribute, and uh, I'll take your mana. Thank you. And with your mana. Let's see here. Uh, we're still seven years ahead. We're well on our way. So then let's go over here to institution spread. And remember, we actually have 50% institution spread in True Faith provinces, which might not sound like a lot, but uh, that means we're going to be getting this very, very quickly in our in our good good land over here. So that's good. Good news. Hey, nice. I don't even have to religion swap Crete. That's pretty good. Uh, Yeah. Two base tax in Kosovo. That's fine with me. Rather have been base production, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. No big deal. We can attack these guys with a holy war. I don't have any claims yet. I think in order to get claims over there, I need to um, conquer Bulgaria, and that will give me claims. No, that gives me claims in Italy. Okay. Recover the Western Islands, which gives me claims in Africa. This one. I need that province before I get claims up here. Sadly, man. Mm. 
we're not in a we're not in a spot where we can fight these guys. So I think what we need to do here because we need to make sure we're juggling our aggressive expansion. We have hardly any over here. We actually have, have hardly any right now at all. Um, okay. Let's do this then. I'm not really too worried about rebels. Our forts are all completely all the way up. Let us switch back to the icon of this one. And then... Base tax in Thessaly for construction cost. What's Thessaly looking like right now? Let's go with the base production. And for this guy here, um, I think I'd rather have this over here. We should probably pay off our loans before we build any more buildings. Let's buy you down one time. Okay, cool. And uh, how far off are we from here? We're converting both of these guys, and we need that Hamid. Cool. All right, let us do a holy war here. Crimea and Ramazan will join. Herzegovina would not join because it's a distant war. Really? Oh, well. Do something like this here. No big deal. How's their navy looking? Two heavies. All right, cool. Well... Apparently, Theodoro is a vassal of Crimea. Kind of funny. There you go. You want to get your army wiped there, Theodoro? That's what I thought, idiots. Your navy, I mean. Not an army. There's a difference between an army and a navy. And how about you guys? Crimea, how you feeling? Vast and endless sea. Free sailors. Sounds good to me. Ramazan? Or Can... Can... Uh, Caraman? Kandar? I always get them mixed up. And uh, that is like basically all of their navies. They just lost 27 ships. Not bad. So let's come over here and uh, blockade the crap out of Crimea. They deserve it. We have our cannon over there on the siege. Oh man, we're making a lot of money now. Mostly from loot, I assume. Spoils of war, war reps, yeah, yeah. We're looting a lot over here. Underrated mechanic, a lot of people don't worry about loot. It's good. Free money when you're at war. A little bit of extra micro, but uh, which I'm not super keen on micro, but uh, when it gives me a ton of money, I'll do it. Oh, we want a 7%er? Hell yeah. Get these guys over here. How many men you got? 11,000. So I do need to keep an eye on my four stacks. Yeah. Uh, it's a little sketchy. Statesman is dead. Let's get some spine at work. Um. Yeah, you can see we're going to have 10% tech cost discount on admin, which is really good. Before we do that, we want to embrace the institution, which once it gets to Constantinople, we should probably be able to do it. We have 50 PP right now, and I bet I can get an extra couple. Nice. You guys suck, and I hate you. Nice. Free Patriarch Authority. It pays for half of that already. Speaking of, do we have any more that we should be adding? No, we do not. That's fine. Let's come over here and blockade these guys as well. Mamlux is considering declaring war upon us. Interesting. Okay. So here's something you can do. I want like this fort here. Yeah, I just want that fort. How's that sound? Uh, I'm going to core it. Increase the autonomy so we don't have rebels. So, I actually haven't seen that event before, or that thing, but apparently they're going to declare war on me. Poland has the Jigelian, and he will accept an alliance offer from me. So let's ally Poland. Hopefully, he's going to call me into that war, isn't he? Against Hungary. Let's, um... See if I can avoid taking out a loan. If I can avoid it, I'd like to. So I'm not sure if since I allied Poland, so this is something that I saw. I remember actually seeing that in a um, let's get these, uh, in a um, a Roomba video. I wonder if they'll still declare war even though I allied somebody and I clearly have a tactical advantage on them. Let's see here. Naval rivals, uh, you guys have less galleys and less heavies. So not worried about the mams if they do declare war on me. Navally, I'm not worried about them. Were they going to declare? 
Turn my army maintenance back up. And my forts, so we have full garrison. Come on, ma'ams, bring it on, baby. See, now I'm gonna be disappointed if they don't. That was from our spy network. Our spy network was telling us that we were able to do it. Uh, oh, it's a core, right, right. I'm being dumb. I'm looking at the cores. I'm like, wait a minute, why can't I conver convert it? Bummer, we got busted spying too. It's okay. So we just need this to expand a little bit more. Ooh. No, no, no. He's bad. I definitely don't. I definitely want a better air than that. So it looks like they're not going to attack us then. Cool. Well, that's unfortunate because I, I kind of wanted them to. These forts are not. There's a hole in this fort line. I want, bro, he's going to be disloyal now, isn't he? Let's, uh, let's dev him one time. That'll keep him loyal. How's the Reformation looking? Ooh, okay, so Hungary abandoned Hussite for uh, for Protestant. We got uh, Nuremberg, Konstanz, and ooh, we got a Reformed Center over here in Switzerland. And another Reformed Center here in uh, Switzerland. Ooh. Oh, this is Savoy, actually. Oh, Genoa, right, right, or Geneva. So is there only... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a third Protestant Reformation Center. Am I only seeing two? This one and this one? There's another reform center over here. Yeah, I only see two reform centers. Or Protestant centers and three reform centers. Interesting. Okay. As soon as we finish this one, we'll be able to add these guys to the trade company. And once we start investing into the trade company, it's going to get even better. So apparently we're not going to get that. So I guess I'll just wait and I'll declare on these guys in two years. They're only allied to Herzegovina, who I also have claims on. Herzegovina is only allied to me and him, so he's guaranteed by Hungary. I don't actually think guarantees get requested, even even if I did, it wouldn't uh, call him in right now. All right. Um, when exactly is our truce up here? June fifteen. That'll be easy. I'm going to pay off our last loan and chat. Look at it. Look at it. We are out of debt. We have no loans. How much is war taxes costing us? Zero. So it costs us zero? Cool. We can just keep war taxes on forever? Not bad. Uh-huh. So I think it might be in our best interest to double dip on uh, this one here. So in order to double dip, what you need is you need at least twice as much. So once we get up to 850, give or take, it should be good. And this is actually good because it allows us to get some more spy network on the MAMs and allows us to some time to embrace institution, which obviously we want to do. A full day's work. Yes, that would be interesting, please. Is this a Von Habsburg? No. Um, sure. Hold our end of the deal if you hold yours so I can get an extra admin point, which is pretty good. He's only 36. Or national unrest. Ideally for the next, you know, 30 years or so. But I think I'd rather have the extra mana. Let's also disinherit you because you're bad and we're gaining prestige still. Let's royal marry you. See if we can get another heir. Stop them, smugglers. No, I don't want to lose the money. Unrest and Ankara, no big deal. See, it's already down to 420, and it was like 430 last I looked because of our spy network in the Mamlux. Once we embrace institution, which honestly, I may just go indebted to the burgers to get it. Truce will be up in June of next year. Truce with England is over. Oh no, what am I going to do? Continue to convert everything. Matter of fact, I'm also going to add you guys to a state and give you local missionary strength, so it will only take a little over two years. Not bad. Religious ideas are so strong, man. 
Cool. Let's pull these guys over here. Give ourselves some maintenance here. And uh, once we embrace Institution, we'll be able to double dip here, and we'll also be able to get... Um, yeah, we got Busta Spying again. Neighbor bonus went up another 5%. Pretty good. A 615 is, is pretty dang good. I will definitely take Demetrios. Sounds good to me, man. So I'm going to call... Oh, Muscovy took Defender of the Faith. Muscovy, you son of a gun. He has, like, no men. Uh, he does have some men, but I can call Austrian on this one. So I will, actually. This will be a good fight. Let's go for Sofia. Muscovy can come. I don't mind. So they're actually sieging down this province right here. So I will gladly come in here and uh, take this province... Take the siege over. I will relieve them. This garrison is not full there, but uh, this is fine. I'll come in here, beat up on these guys. This is something you, a lot of people don't know. It's at minus seven. Once we take it over, not only does it progress, but... Um, we also take it over, and our siege ability is super... Oh, with Fort in Disrepair. Oh, tragic. Tragic, tragic. Oh, yeah. We're very close to being able to double dip here. And, uh... If a Muscovy comes in and they're looking a little beefy, looks like they're on mill 9, we're on mill 9, so I'm not too concerned about them. Nice. Let's get those Rebels out of there so they aren't occupying land that I want to be occupying myself. And uh, let's come on down here. And it's funny because I totally just co-belligerented. Wait, did I not co-belligerent him? Oh, damn. I thought that I just co-belligerented my own ally. Oh, that's okay. I didn't, but... It's fine. No big deal. Uh, I don't know why this fight is taking so long. Very good. Get in here. Hopefully wipe these guys. Beautiful. Carpet Siege down over here. All right, boys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, do make sure you show your support, leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Ding the bell. Check us out over on Patreon if it's within your means and you want to support us. Also, check out the VODs channel. We have a Discord and a Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. Anything that you might be looking for, check the description or ask in the comments. And uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. A big special shout out to my top March patrons, Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, F. Jensen, Fat Man on Deck, J. Eden, M. Dressel, Tharup, Blonde Damon, Corbett, Trinkopotamus, T. Jarden, Bargain Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Hamerado, J. Cutchell, N. Winkler, RJ Pilot, Stoiler, Agent Rhino, Arcus, and Airborne Animal 7. There's many more and I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you.